we go again, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. No, seriously, thank you so much for stopping by today's episode. It's true. It is your host, Galadon, the owner of the longest running YouTube channel that is devoted to the game Clash of Clans. Nearly nine years of content creating, thousands of episodes, tens of thousands of hours streamed. I have streamed on nine different platforms and I have traveled to 10 countries, including going to Helsinki, Finland, the headquarters of Supercell 23 times, 10 countries to play Clash of Clans. So I figure why not try to get an account at every single town hall level fully maxed out. That is the goal. That was the suggestion from you, the viewers. So let's go for it. And it turns out I don't even have a town hall two that's fully maxed out. So that was the first order of business, but we will get back to that. I have some problems that I'm going to need your input, fellow fans. So please, if you get a chance, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you can follow this series and all the other cool series on the channel. And of course, be prepared for the earliest and most accurate update information, leaving a like, leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm always helps as does using code Galadon, which will probably be needed to fund uh, this series because it's not going to, there, there's just no way that I can do this completely free to play. Okay, that I would love to, but no, it's just not reasonable. And you will see why in just a moment as we took a look at my Town Hall 3, let's move on to Town Hall 4. The challenges don't lie here. These, you know, obviously are easy Town Halls to max out and the early ones, most of them are done. You know, Town Hall 4, set there we go we're fully maxed out at town hall four and as we move northbound through the numbers you'll see that we you know we've done some work here this is not a brand new project it is something i've been putting together for a while so the town hall five looking pretty sweet and uh, i don't know is it worth sharing the links to all of these base designs uh, this may not be the best base ever, but I do like my Santa surprise presence ringing the base like that. I try not to click on those because remember, click on one and they all go bye bye. So, okay, Town Hall 5 maxed out. Let's go on to Town Hall 6 that has a bit further to go. Now, of course, what we could do, and again, this is something I would love to hear from you, the viewer, is put together attack strategies for each of these Town Halls because... Well, we've got some upgrades to do, so we probably need to go out and do a little bit of farming at Town Hall 6. Maybe not farming at Town Hall 2, but at least starting around Town Hall 6, would it make sense to put together some solid attack strategies? You know, we'll do dragons, we'll do barge, we'll do hog riders, we'll do a little bit of everything throughout the Town Halls, starting around here, because obviously 6 needs some work. Now, Town Hall 7... Yes, once again, we've got a fully maxed out Town Hall 7 with a dragon army ready to go. So like I've said, you know, even though we don't need to farm here, we could always throw together some good attack strategies and share it in a future video. Uh, but Town Hall 7, that one's done. And now, unfortunately, notice that it has over 5,400 gems. All of these accounts have quite a few gems. Town Hall 8, this one has over 11,000 gems. What? Okay, now that, that's something to think about. And this is where I wanted to ask you guys. I feel like maybe some of these accounts should move up to the higher Town Halls, being that, do we really need to max this one out at Town Hall 8? Or should we let this one go up higher and fill some of the voids that we have uh, further up in the Town Hall levels? And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Unfortunately, yeah, we have gaps that need to be filled. And remember, we could change the names on these accounts. It would probably be the second name change, so it would cost about a thousand gems, but we could do that and move some of these up. Again, every single one of these accounts has quite a few gems because none of these were ever dedicated free to play accounts. And if you recall a while back, Supercell did that deal, and I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was like $2.99 and you got several thousand gems. So I bought it on every single one of these accounts just because I knew it was going to be the best gem deal that would possibly ever come to the game. Okay, so Town Hall 9, everybody else has gems, except for, of course, No Cash Clash, the one true free-to-play account that Galadon owns. Everything else has spent money, and sometimes a lot of money. Okay, so Town Hall 9, you know, we're about midway through Town Hall 9. Obviously, it would need some more work, Okay, fine, not midway through. We have a lot of hero levels. I've forgotten the 
absolute horrific number of hero levels you have to do at Town Hall 9, but yeah, there it is. Okay, moving on to Galadon 10.0, and this was briefly a series, I think this was really last used in a competition versus Klaus, if you remember that, where we were both farming at Town Hall 10. And uh, also, by the way, if you remember that series, you know that I did quite well, and uh, this account was a very good farming account, and of course it is pre-Sneaky Goblin, uh, which does make for some challenges in farming, but maybe that could be interesting to go back to Town Hall 10. And just to go ahead and interrupt myself right in the middle of this episode, what about that idea that some of you have said about creating an account that always upgrades whatever the builder tells you to upgrade, following the advice of the game and seeing what happens. That's also a possibility. Although then now we're talking about undertaking two huge new series on the channel. So, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know again in the comments by leaving a like. But at some point we gotta draw the line in the different series that we have. We've got Gold Pass Clash, No Cash Clash, Gem Farm Fix, Max That Rush, and then one more series. Okay, let's move on to Town Hall 11. And here's where yeah, the, the issues get more and more complicated. This is my only Town Hall 11 account, folks. Yeah, it's not even named Galadon anymore because I was after the gifts. We named it Santa's Surprise. And oh, let me just tell you how nerve-wracking what I'm doing right now is, okay? This is incredibly nerve-wracking. We're zooming way in. I'm very, very gingerly placing my finger down on these trees, on these trunks, and making sure that I don't accidentally click a gift and lose them all. Uh, this is, at this point, two years of work, uh, two holiday seasons trying to get those gifts. And no, there's no way that I'm going to make this into a fully maxed out Town Hall 11 for multiple reasons, first of which being the fact that you can't make one like this anymore. Okay, let's move on to my Town Hall 12. Right, so yeah, there's a small issue here. I don't even own a Town Hall 12 account. Now, obviously, we have played Town Hall 12 before. We have gotten there in one video in one day, and that wasn't cheap either. So what do we do? We need to move one of those earlier accounts up to Town Hall 12, and then Town Hall 13. Town Hall 13 is ugly. This is 13.0, no, uh, screaming no because it's so badly rushed. The problem is it's my only 13. So at this point, there's really nothing unusual about this account. So perhaps we just work on maxing it out. But does that sound fun? No, Galadon has Gold Pass Clash at Town Hall 13, No Cash Clash at Town Hall 13, and now you expect me to farm this account to max out Town Hall 13 as well? What are you thinking? Oh man, maybe it has to happen at some point, but oh, oh just, it's not a pleasant thought. The idea of farming three Town Hall 13 accounts and this one all level one defenses. Let's move on to Town Hall 14 finally. Okay, so here, yes, of course we have Galadon. The main accounts, the big account, some refer to it as the $75,000 account, whatever you want to call it. It is my max account and yes, will become a maxed out Town Hall 15 on day one of the Town Hall 15 update. Uh, hopefully, cross your fingers. We'll, we'll probably have to do a fundraiser for it or something like that, but we'll figure it out and we will match it with charity giving. Okay, so we also have other Town Hall 14 accounts and this Galadon 14.0 will obviously become the maxed out Town Hall 14. Probably, right? Maybe. Let's think about this because I actually have four Town Hall 14 accounts. Now, the other two, I don't think they're likely ever to grow up because, first of all, this is the only account that I own that is truly unique, one of a kind, the only Town Hall 14 without heroes. That's right, no other account exists in the game like that one. And then there is Galadon Level 1, which unfortunately is not unique in and of itself, although it is very difficult and... Uh, well, also very wasteful to do. It's a it's a Town Hall 14 with all level one defenses. So, uh, and level one everything else, heroes and all buildings. And yeah, what do we do with that one? I don't know. You guys need to let me know, Galafam. As we look into continuing this series, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You are the true hashtag Galafam. You are the reason these episodes happen. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to the people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Yeah.
Natalie Don, I don't know what your plan is, but if it involves gyms, I'm all for it.